Okay, so today I'll be comparing the Home Cinema 2000 Epson to my latest one that I just got. And this is also an Epson, except this one is 2045. So as you can see, I have installed this one. I had this one, I used it about a year and um, uh, took it down, decided to go with the 2045. And you're probably wondering why. Uh, there are a couple of factors with the 2045. Um, one of the best features that I like is uh, the wireless streaming that you can do with this and uh, the lumens are pretty higher so on that one is I think I was getting about 1800 lumens on the HC2000 and uh, this 2045 gives me about 2200 lumens so as you can see I have a, a lot of light so and I'm projecting on this orange wall uh, but believe it or not, it gives me pretty good contrast. I was kind of amazed to see that I, uh, at first I was planning on putting a screen But man without a screen, uh, but I'm probably gonna end up painting it gray to have a better that? contrast level um, So anyways going back to the projector the 2200 lumens is quite high and also the contrast level is about 35,000 to 1 on the 2045 and uh, this one is uh, about 15,000 to 1, so quite lower on the uh, 2000 series. Uh, but again, uh, a little bit cheaper. Uh, this was, uh, when I bought it, I mean, uh, it was a little bit cheaper. It was like 600 something. And uh, this one I just picked up from Best Buy for about 699 plus tax. So uh, a couple of new features with the HC2045 is it has a wireless streaming. The contrast ratio is better, uh, which gives you better blacks and better whites. And uh, also the lumens is uh, a little bit brighter. So if you have ambient light like this, uh, it gives you a much, much better picture. Uh, also on both these units, on the back side, as you can see, uh, there are two HDMI ports and uh, one you can see says M MHL and that is basically, you can search what MHL is, uh, but it, gives, uh, it allows your other streaming device to be uh, controlled from that, uh, like the one I have plugged in right now. Uh, there is audio out, both these units have audio out, some of them they don't. Uh, if you're considering a projector, make sure you have one because it comes in very handy, especially if you don't have a high definition or HDMI uh, receiver that you're gonna be using. So this gives you an option to use the old receiver. Uh, and now you can just get this output from here and <clears throat> plug into your old receiver and still get the surround system. Uh, you can see that I did a clean install. I'm just trying it out. One of the issues that I was running into, I was getting a lot of noise once I installed this. And later on, I figured it out that I was using this cable and I was running the power cable with the HDMI cable and everything together, which was creating the noise. So I tested it with uh, just a wire by itself and it goes away. So I'm going to have to uh, get that opened up and uh, maybe do it from the side. So I'm not causing a lot of noise uh, in there. Uh, other than that, it's a, it's a great system. Uh, the 2045 is awesome. I love it. And I would highly recommend you guys getting that. Pick, uh, just pick it up from a Best Buy, it had, they have great deals right now, it used to be like around 800 or something, but now it's the prices that are down to like 700 bucks, so excuse my kid in the background. Uh, so definitely pick one of these up, really, really great pictures, I'm probably going to make a small video uh, at night time and uh, share the picture quality with you guys. Okay guys so I'm going to compare the video quality for the 2000, this is the HC2000 for Epson, and this is the 2045 and uh, I find a lot of upgraded features. I mean, the picture is much more sharper. And I'm on the exact same settings. It's not on eco. It's on normal mode. I'm running it on <clears throat> both of them in normal mode and basic, just the basic Epson settings. Uh, this is the one from 2000, HC 2000. And uh, this is the 2045. And you can see the colors are so sharp. And uh, guys, my wall is just plain orange. I mean, I didn't even do any kind of screen or anything. And you can see my blacks are very nicely black and um, the colors are like really vibrant. And exact same settings on both, uh, no changes. And I can uh, probably show it to you guys. So there you go. <coughs> Oops. So this is on. 
put on cinema. And uh, there you go. This is also on the cinema now. Twenty forty five. This is two thousand. All right. Hopefully, this comparison can uh, help you guys making the right choice. I think it's a little bit more uh, brightness because it's, the lumens is uh, higher on the twenty forty five versus the two thousand. You can see the lumens are not as much. I mean the picture quality is nice and bright and everything, but it's just this is much more clear and brighter. 